Welcome back today, friends. I am going to go ahead and sneak. You won't tell, I won't tell if you won't. I'm gonna go ahead and get spaghetti made in the Instant Pot. Now I have two kiddos here doing a, a learning tablet activity. I have a bunch of big kids outside taking a trampoline run and like get the afternoon wiggles and giggles out. Our oldest son at home is working with my husband on a project and, and Benjamin's napping. So while I've got everyone kind of in all their respective places, I thought I could go ahead and make spaghetti in the Instant Pot. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make it in the eight quart Instant Pot. If you have a six quart Instant Pot, you can also follow along pretty closely with this, but I'm also going to make it in my 14 quart Go Wise pressure cooker. Now, if I was just doing dinner for my family, I would do it in one or the other. However, I want to show you in this video how to do spaghetti in both. So what that means is we're just gonna have a whole lot, a lot of extra spaghetti. Don't worry about us. You get to see it done in two different pressure cookers. I'm gonna do it one at a time though, so we at least get the eight quart going now. Stay tuned for the 14 quart, it'll be in this video. What I'll probably do with any extra spaghetti that we have left by tomorrow evening is I will just put the extra spaghetti in a pan or two for the freezer. I will layer them with a layer of sour cream each because I got a bunch of sour cream right now, some shredded cheese, wrap them up and freeze them, and those will be pans of baked spaghetti. Maybe I'll even have that in this video. Uh, I don't know though, because everyone loves spaghetti. We'll see how this goes. Okay, first thing I'm gonna do, I just wanted to show you this process. I'm going to get my Instant Pot plugged in, and I'm going to already hit, I'm gonna hit the saute button. When we do spaghetti in the Instant Pot, or any electric pressure cooker, you get it warmed up on the saute button. Then you go ahead and get your ground beef in there and cook your ground beef. It's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful fish. So we got that. I'm gonna get my ground beef going. This is a five and a half pound pack of ground beef. So probably just gonna divide it right in half there. So about two and a half heading to three pounds of ground beef is what I'm doing in the Instant Pot. As always, uh, you can adapt it any way you need to do it for yourself. If you wanna just do a pound and a half or two pounds, Go for it. Also, if you want to use sausage or ground turkey, any other kind of protein you have there, it's easily, easily interchangeable. What you also do a little oil. And while we're waiting here for a minute, don't you just love these earrings? Are these not? I just say, Amelia, aren't these earrings everything? No? Yes? No? What'd you think? You like them? Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Anyway, I got these. Uh, these were, I just love big dangly earrings. Where did I get these? Gabe's. Gabriel Brothers, it's a discount clothing store. I recently had a haul and a shop with me from there. But there you go, there's one of my new pairs of earrings in action. Okay, so I'm gonna get half of this ground beef in there. And actually I can use my handy dandy meat chopper here. Now I'm gonna run and grab an onion real quick and we'll put that in with this meat. Got our onion cut. Now what's really nice about this is you can just do everything in one pot. You do not need to boil water or have a separate sauce pot or anything. Just We're just gonna do the whole thing. Meat, sauce, noodles, all of it. And then we're going to add our favorites. We've got garlic powder, onion powder. Also gonna put in some Italian seasoning. Okay, so we are going to keep cooking this ground beef until it's no longer pink. Now, if you're able to use a lean ground beef, you will not need to drain this. This is not the leanest ground beef. Oh, no, it's not. I'm scared to tell you what it even is, but it's all that Aldi had in the bigger packs. So what I consider a good lean ground beef would be like a 90-10, but this is definitely not that. So I'm probably gonna drain my meat here in a minute, which you'll want to do if it's fattier, just because you don't want your sauce and your noodles and everything super greasy. I think we're about done here. So I have my meat drainer here in a metal bowl. You can't see that clearly. I am going to drain this. But like I said, if you use a lean ground beef, you may not even have to do this step. So I'm going to add in two cups of water. Okay, so I have spaghetti sauce out of the can. Let's go round. Okay, this is one 24 ounce can going in. Here's a second. Okay, so then next up we've got our noodles. This is a two pound 
32 ounce dry box. I am going to put this all in there. Oh, yes, I am. I'm going to break it in half. You've got to make sure you get a lot of, you got a lot of water and sauce above and more water and sauce on the top. You kind of layer it and sandwich it all in there. Let's see, I don't think I can break that many in half at one time. Now I've got these in my hand. Can I do this? There we go. Now I'm gonna do the other two cups of water. And I'm doing two more cans of sauce. Okay, so now I've got everything good and covered. Now we're gonna put our lid on. gonna put it for 10 minutes. Okay, so my big kids are back inside. We are doing some math. Instant pot just beep. It has been, it's 10 minute time plus the time to build up pressure. But anyway, so now I'm gonna do a quick release. Woo! Okay, so all the, all the steam is released. It's been about 16 minutes because I've been walking back and forth helping kids. It's a nice thing about the instant pot. It can just sit and wait. So let's take this off. Voila. Okay, so there we go, friends. Instant pot on the large family style side. Uh, instant pot, spaghetti, yes and amen. Gonna serve this up now. Going to do it in the 14 quart go wise. We're gonna make even more, oh yes we are. I will get some baked spaghettis for the freezer out of it, and then that way if you have a larger size electric pressure cooker, like I know a whole lot of mamas with a whole lot of kids do, you can see how I do it in there as well. And here we go. Instant pot spaghetti in a bowl, a little bit of green can shaky cheese, of course, on top. Gonna serve this up to the family now. Okay, so after dinner, this is what is left. After nine people of all ages and stages have eaten, there's probably a, maybe, maybe a serving or one and a half left, that's it. So I will put that in a small little container for maybe two little people's lunch tomorrow, and I'm going to do the big Go Wise pressure cooker full of spaghetti now. Now that I've got everyone fed and got some different jobs and things going on, I'm gonna get this 14 quart. This is a Go Wise pressure cooker. I've had this one for a bit. Been around here for a while. You've seen it do all kinds of amazing things. I'm gonna get this heating up. Just making sure nothing's in there. Get this ready to saute. So we got another five pounds of ground beef that's going in. And then I have another whole onion. Now we're gonna add our garlic powder, onion powder, and Italian seasoning again to the meat. A little bit more this time. Total eyeballing school, but as always, the recipe will be. Link in the description of the video. Okay, so we got the five pounds of ground beef cooked and drained, just have my little drainer rig up. So now I'm gonna put in four cups of water, four cans of sauce before we put in the whole bottle lot of noodles. Okay, so now for this one, we are gonna do four pounds of dry spaghetti. It's supposed to be 64 ounces total. I'm gonna try to not put so much in my hand at one time. If I was making dinner for my family and how I like to make it to where I'll actually have leftovers so we have lunch for everyone the following day or even a double dinner, then I would naturally choose to use my 14 quart pressure cooker. The eight quart Instant Pot was fine. I didn't get a bunch of leftovers though, or even really, you know, most notable leftovers. Let's say we're on vacation or something and I don't want leftovers, then I would use the eight quart Instant Pot. But in the real world here, I would just, you know, always trying to get as much as possible here. And so with my noodles there, you can see, I'm trying to layer them. I'm also going ahead and breaking them in half, which I don't normally do with my noodles. I usually let them cook full on, so I just kind of layer them. What's going to happen is the noodles are going to absorb a lot of that water. It's not really a saucy dish. You know, when we make spaghetti, we make the noodles, we make the sauce, and it's all separate. I have some people in my family who really, really like a lot of sauce, and some who are minimal on the sauce. Some kids who sometimes will just eat it with just a little shaky cheese. So the noodles are gonna soak up all of this sauce. It honestly doesn't increase the volume 
volume too much in the pressure cooker. You should never fill a pressure cooker more than three quarters of the way full. Yes, Jay Morrell. So we're gonna just be hitting that with this. But again, the noodles soak up that water. You did, you did four. Let me show how perfect. See, Amelia did the four cups. Good job. So we'll put four more cups of water in there. Excellent. And then we're gonna do four more cans of sauce. I didn't show the step, but I had already taken it off of saute. And we're gonna now put it on manual. I'm gonna put it on for 12 minutes, and then we will do a quick release on it when it's done. So here is the big old 14 quart go wise pressure cooker full of large family style spaghetti. Now remember we did this in layers. So I take a spoon and you just have to gently stir. You don't want to mash your noodles. The noodles are perfect. All of the meat is at the bottom. So that's where you see me just slowly going through and bringing the meat up through the sauce, mixing it all together. But now it's perfect, ready to serve. Of course, you know, we've already eaten dinner tonight. So tomorrow you'll watch me make some quick baked spaghetti for the freezer. Hello friends, I am back. I'm actually filming another video right now where I'm making hamburger steaks and gravy over there on the stove. So we have this spaghetti that was left from the 14 quart go wise pressure cooker yesterday. We're gonna do some quick get these baked spaghettis in the freezer. Yes and amen, because I still wanna use the spaghetti. I, I made it for the video, but it'll still be useful for freezer meals for my family. Getting this in the freezer now, you can watch me make it real quick. All I'm gonna do is fill each pan about three quarters of the way with spaghetti. I'm gonna do a layer of sour cream on top of each of these. These are my big baking dishes. Sour cream, the top of mozzarella, then we'll wrap them, label them. It will be a baked spaghetti freezer meal for whenever we need them, those times happen. Just give me uh, another lunch choice. Cooking up a whole lot, a lot of food in another video now. But if a kiddo or two would like some spaghetti, there's probably about two servings left. So with the rest of this, I'm going to put sour cream on top. And I get lots of questions about freezing sour cream. Of course, the wisdom is you don't freeze sour cream. But you can freeze sour cream mixed up in recipes. Yes, you can. I freeze sour cream in taco bakes and in freezer spaghetti all the time. And it's layered, turns out perfect, no issues whatsoever. Okay guys, so here we go. We got three whole lot, a lot of pans of baked spaghetti for the freezer. That is gonna get wrapped up. I'm gonna have my handy dandy Zion assistant wrap these up for me and label them. We'll get them in the freezer. Now whenever, because of real life, we need one of these for dinner, I will set it out from the freezer to the refrigerator to the frost. I can usually look at my calendar and see just based on the days and what's going on and activities and appointments and friends and all of that uh, when we need one. <laughs> so we will have it. You can also look down in the description below and find both the recipes for the eight quart instant pot and the 14 quart go wise and even my baked spaghetti recipe. I will see you real soon with another brand new video. Please let me know what other recipes you would like for me to cook up. <laughs>